Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFP TV here at the SDS Imports booth. They actually let me in. I can't believe it. Uh, he kind of forced his way in. So. I did. That is actually true. It was very <laughs> rude and unprofessional of me, but that's how I am. Unfortunately, we've got a bunch of 1911s, right? That's what yep. we're looking at here? Yeah, we're looking at some of our new SKUs of 1911s, uh, some of our best sellers, um, some of our stuff that's really been hot. Okay, what do we have? Let's go from left to right, right to left, I don't care. Okay, so we've got, starting out, we have our U.S. Army Armed Service family. Um, so it's a bit of an improvement off the U.S. Army that most people know and love. Um, it's more of an accurate representation of the Remington Rand model. Um, so it'll have the proper markings, the uh, E-type hammer, the uh, correct ejection port, um, and this one's going to run you around $510. What do we got next? Uh, so we have the Aviator. Uh, we've just released this. These aren't in stores yet, but they'll be coming soon. It's an aluminum frame, four and a quarter inch. Um, so it's going to have, you can get them in nine millimeter 45, uh, spur type hammer, and it's going to run you about 560, 600. So. What's the weight on that? Do you know? Uh, off the top of my head, the exact weight, I don't, but I mean, you can really feel how light it is. Okay, uh, this is 29 and a half ounces. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's somebody we need to get a scale. If I'm right, everyone owes me around. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's keep going. What uh, do we got? So we've got the, uh, the Duty Enhance, which is a two tone variant. Um, so it's going to have your front strap checkering, your back strap checkering. Uh, it's going to be a Cerakote top end with a stainless steel bottom, wood grips, fiber optic front sight. Uh, MSRP is about $750. Okay, yeah, we're scooting up there on price, we're but features up. as well, right? We're That's getting up a little bit, but the features come with it. So. Okay, and then now we're moving to? The Raider. So the Raider has been our hottest seller since we dropped it. Uh, we now have 45 and 9 millimeter. Um, it's going to run you about 700, 750. It's got G10 grips, Novak, three dot sights, extended beaver tail. It's an M45A1 clone, um, and it's, I mean, they've just been running hot. So. Okay, and this is an all steel gun? It is. So uh, forged frame, forged slide, uh, forged barrel, machine parts. All the parts are hardened before machined. Um, so you're not getting MEM parts, you're getting actually machined pieces in there. Titanium fire and pin, so they're also drop safe. Okay, now if I don't know what MEM, uh, metal injection molding is or what that means or why that's important, explain that. Uh, so MIM is actually not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just, it's a lot more likely to get bad pieces. Um, so we decided to up our quality and up our manufacturing side of things and go to machine parts. They're a lot stronger and they have a less of a fail rate. Okay, and then what do we have here at the very end? So this is our Night Stalker. So we have these and nine That's millimeter. what they call me back in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> we have these in nine millimeter. I believe that too. I hope you know. No. You should. <laughs> All of your food groups here: nine millimeter, ten millimeter, forty-five aluminum grips. Same forged steel frame slide. Um, get your lightning cuts in the front. Comes with a tritium front sight. Um, and I mean, they just got a good feel to them. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Wait, how much does this one cost? Did you mention that? Uh, so this one's also going to run you about seven fifty MSRP. Oh. Yeah, All right. So yeah, yeah. And what do I get out of this? What's different? this one versus everything else. So this one's gonna have your slide cuts, uh, which is a big feature. It's gonna have your front strap checkering, but it's not normal front strap checkering. It's kind of like a wave. So it's definitely got a little bit of a better feel to it. Tritium front sight, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, extended beaver tail. It's just, it's, it's a John Wick looking gun and uh, mm -hmm. that's what a lot of people notice it as. SDS Imports, you guys have a lot of brands under your umbrella. What is this under? So these are all under TSOS USA. Um, so, you know, we have our four brands, TSOSH, Tokarev, Mac, and Spandau. Uh, TSOSH is probably our most popular brand out of the four. Um, so all of these can be found under TSOSH. Yeah, and I got to meet those guys at IWA this year. And it's mm -hmm. just, it's funny to me. I mean, look, I mean, we can speak plainly here. You know, I beat up on Turkish shotguns. Mm -hmm. Haven't met one that I like yet. But for whatever reason, it's like the, the, the Turkish handguns that come out of the country like are, are, are really squared away and good I, I it's just it, it's surprising to me I suppose I know that's no comment from you guys probably because you know I know you import the shotguns too but um, I'm always impressed with the quality of the handguns thank you yeah. for walking us through this yeah, I appreciate it I hope you guys have a great show you too guys stay tuned we're bringing you more from TFB TV Showtime at TriggerCon 2023